Hello, welcome back to Petrol Blogs Rubbish YouTube channel. Um, if you just got over the awful shorts video I posted on Friday night, I apologise. Um, that won't happen again. Um, this is another short video, albeit not a short video. Um, and this is at the request of Ben Hooper, who, like many younger motorists, sort of young retro fans, car fans, struggles to understand the concept of how you can make a modern smartphone play music through a tape player. And it's a very valid uh, state of confusion. It's a land of confusion, if you like. Um, because surely not. Surely you can't play iPods. Other MP3 players are available. Music through that. And actually, he requested a video on the subject. And I know this is very niche. But actually, I thought, well, actually, I can make a good video on this and show you how it's done. Because there's a new generation of retro car fans, uh, 18, 19, 20, like my son, who's not even 17 yet, who loves older cars. They might come up with a sort of situation that we find ourselves in, that we like to preserve the originality of the original tape player, CD player, or both. You know, I'm having a conversation on Twitter with Nicholas, and we believe that the Lexus SC430 was the last car to have a tape and CD player as standard built into the dashboard, as opposed to maybe a tape player with a CD auto changer in the boot or underneath the seat. Um, if you're wrong on that, um, certainly in the UK, I think that's the truth. Maybe in America, there might be something different. Maybe in other parts of the world, Japan, Korea, there may be other uh, examples. But we think, forgive us if we're wrong, tell us if we're wrong, that the Lexus SC430 was the last car to have a tape and CD player in the dashboard. That's another subject for another day. For now, that's what happens if you find yourselves with a smartphone. This is my wife's smartphone because I'm recording this on my smartphone, which makes it slightly trickier. So the answer is, and you'll know this already from seeing the Proton video, the answer is one of these, a cassette adapter. And I've had this since 2012 when I bought the ZX. So this has been... So that's nearly 10 years now, and I think I paid like £4 for this. It's an absolute steal. You can see it looks like a regular tape cassette, but there is no ribbon. And then a regular tape cassette, and again, I'm branching out of my subject field here, but I believe the sort of metallic ribbon is the way that and touches the head and transmit, transmits the music. So the, I think the ribbon gets stuck between the head on the tape player and the metal head on the, on the cassette player. And that plays the music. On this one, on this tape, there's no ribbon, just a head. And from what, I, from what I gather, when this head meets that head, it becomes a talking head. So we're on the road now. I don't know where we're going. I've lost my train of thought as usual. Obviously, it's got a lead on the end. So you put the tape in as normal. It makes a little noise and it says play. And um, if you've got a... You might need an adapter, as you'll find with this. It automatically makes a noise of a ticking clock, which is very therapeutic. So I've got an adapter on this smartphone so it can play in my iPhone, or my wife's iPhone in this case. Now if I turn the volume up and press play on the... And obviously I've got copyright infringement here, so I'm going to turn it down. You've just been whamageddon. What's the, what's the phrase? Whamageddon? Wham, wham, wah, 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 whatever it is. So if holidays if you've been trying to avoid wham, that was George Michael there with his dulcet tones. Um, but actually the volume is really good. I'm going to have to pretend it's really loud in here now and I'm having to talk over because the volume's so good. But the quality is excellent. It's really, really good. Um, my son and I had this, the ticking noise is quite annoying, but actually when the engine's running and when there's music playing, it's not really an issue. And we had it on the festival now, exceptional all the way there and all the way back. We had Spotify playing. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. Really, really good system. So we're really pleased with that. That's how it works, Ben Hooper. For the sake of four quid, you can have any phone you like fired up or wired up to your Logic control deck. Right, but, nah, there's a but. As Kim Kardashian once said, I've now bought myself, <laughs> speaking of Kim Kardashian, I've now bought myself an arse fitter or Ars Vita, whatever, it's got Ars in the name, which makes it mildly amusing, an Ars Vita company. And this 
I discovered this when I was doing a little bit of research into how much I paid for the original tape player. I found this. Now, this is slightly different. Now, this... Look at, that, look at the mud on that mat. Just as why I haven't put my nice, shiny new Camry mats in. This is... And I have unboxed it before, so I'm not going to do a lot. Pretend this is a live unboxing video. It's awful, isn't it, this video? But this, it looks the same. But if you notice, it's got the word Bluetooth in it. And it's got a Bluetooth... What do you call that? A Bluetooth dongle. I like the word dongle. It's got a Bluetooth dongle popping out the outside. So in theory, you'll notice it hasn't got any wire coming out of it. So in theory... We don't need this wire. Now, here's the thing with this. I bought this primarily or exclusively really for this video. I saw it online. I thought, do you know what? If I'm going to do Ben Hooper's special video on tape cassettes, why not see what the latest one? Because I didn't even knew these existed. And I know a lot of people do know about these, but I'm also assuming that there's a lot of people in the world who don't know about these. And especially, So this is potentially an interesting video. You see, this one's got a little... A uh, connector there for charging it up. So if, when you get it, you do need to charge it up, and a little light there which tells you whether it's on with the Bluetooth. It flashes blue when the Bluetooth is connected, and to do that, you just hold down this dongle on the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check check my wife's phone is in Bluetooth mode, which it is now. But at the moment, obviously, it can't see it. So what I gather from the little handbook I got with it. You plug it in, and this has been charged. Many noises happening again. And then you hold this down, I think for two seconds. You can see the lights start to flash in there like a disco. So you wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. And then this, the arse fitter pops up. Lots of noises coming out of there again. So I'm trying to connect to the arse fitter. It says it's now connected to the arse fitter. So I should be able to go back into Spotify now. Which is very exciting. Back into Spotify. And does George Michael pop up again? Look at that. Well, that's good. Why? One thing I'll say immediately, the volume's nowhere near as good. So I think on five last time, volume was, was acceptable. So it's not as good. So first impressions are it's not as good. The original one, you may have to have the inconvenience of a lead coming at you, like Cleopatra, but the quality's better. And okay, you can't make because you can make phones, uh, phone calls on this is really garbled, isn't it? Um, you can make, you can actually use this to make telephone calls as well, which is really exciting. Um, but the quality's nowhere near as good. Still make, and actually, I think that's louder in there as well. Before it was just a ticking noise. Listen, so that's let's do it before and after. So that's. £15 arse fitter. And the snowman brings the snow, which is... That's, that's right, George, Johnny Walker it is. And actually, the snowman doesn't bring the snow because the snow brings the snowman. But anyway, look, pop him back in. Much quieter. So, consumer advice, guys. The £4... Wire, wired four pound jobby is superior to the 15 pound Bluetooth jobby. Okay, you don't get a blue flashing light. You can't make telephone calls on it, but who cares? When you're driving, who do you want to talk to anyway? Who gives a damn? You're out there to drive a car. So my argue, my lesson to you is, and also this didn't work in the Citroen ZX. We tried this on the Citroen. We're going to try, we're going to do this video on the Citroen ZX. This worked beautifully. This didn't. So my lesson to you is, Think about the Bluetooth one, but don't bother about it. Go out there and buy the non... It hasn't got arse in the title, which obviously loses the comedy value. But this is better, and Johnny Walker likes it best too. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching, and stay safe.